It's time for the Matt LeCroy Show on Fox Sports 1460. Brought to you by the Holiday Inn Middletown. Now with today's show, here's Terry Byram. Before game two of this three-game series with the Akron Rubber Ducks, I'm with manager Matt LeCroy for the Matt LeCroy Show. And uh, last night, Matt was uh, one of the better games of the year. We'll start with Michael Brady first. Uh, he came out and did exactly what you needed a starter to do. He gave you a solid innings, low pitch count. I think he only threw 68 pitches for uh, for six innings. And uh, you can't ask for much more than that. No, especially when we're trying to build him up. Uh, I thought he did a nice job uh, throwing to both sides of the plate, uh, kept the – Kept back and off balance for the most part and did a really nice job, uh, you know, w- once we uh, scored some runs, uh, securing that. And then, uh, you know, Suero came in and did a really nice job for two innings. And then Ben Acosta pitched around two walks and, and uh, put up a zero. So a lot of uh, good things on the pitching side yesterday. And I thought offensively we we did some things uh, that, that, that I like. We had got some big two-out RBIs that was good. And, and I thought our bats were very solid throughout our lineup. Rafael Bautista, two straight games. He has four hits. Last night he got on base five times because he also walked. And uh, Perry and I were just talking about if Rafael Bautista and or Andrew Stevenson are going to get on base consistently, you guys are going to score runs. Yeah, I think so. I mean, they put pressure on on the on the defense, and uh, you know, your leadoff guy can get on four or five times a night. You got a good chance to score some runs, especially with Rafi and. And uh, Steve Owen and Defoe in, in the three hole, you know, those guys can really run. Uh, they can make some things happen. So hopefully they'll continue to swing the bat well, get Stevenson going, uh, uh, get him back on track. Uh, he's a good athlete, plays hard, and uh, he can make some things happen too. So it's a really good uh, asset to have on uh, three guys up at the top that can really run. And then Drew Ward is starting to settle in. He hasn't hit a home run yet, but he's starting to have better and better at-bats, and he's had some. He's fought off some pitches for base hits, and he's also had some really good contact. Yeah, I think he's starting to understand what the league's going to try to do to him and uh, take advantage of the balls that they leave up in the zone, take a little bit shorter approach to it. But I, I like where the – the the way he's going now and I think his confidence is starting to grow a little bit he's having better at bats and hopefully I think once he once his mind gets right and feels really good I think he's going to be really good last night you had a double steal you had Steven Perez at, at third and I think it was Rafael Bautista at first Bautista takes off they have no chance at him they cut the ball off in front of second and they really had no chance at Steven at the plate either and you know th- there's a cliche that that speed never slumps but speed really doesn't ever slump no I mean uh, I wish I could run like that uh, but uh, these guys, if they put the ball in play, they can make a lot of things happen. And, and um, you know, hopefully uh, they'll continue to put the ball in play and, and to make the defense make the plays. Because I tell you, I mean, it's, you watch the other teams when they come in and play, they have to rush throws. They, they're they constantly on their feet, uh, not knowing whether or not they're going to go or not, and moving up on balls in the dirt, playing very aggressively. So if we continue to do all these things, I think we'll, we'll give ourselves a chance to play for something uh, here late down the stretch. One of the guys on your team, maybe the guy that's the unsung hero of the first half right now, it's Steven Perez. Uh, Steven's batted right around 300 right now and has been above 260 the whole time. He's played good defense everywhere you've put him. Yeah, he's he's made the adjustment to his role uh, as a utility guy, and now you'll see him more primarily at second now with Drew Ward here and, and uh, Defoe playing the majority at short. But, uh, you know, he's, he's made some big strides on – on all both sides, offensively and defensively, I think he has quality at bats throughout the whole season so far. I mean, he swings it straight. He he works counts. He's gotten some big hits, you know. So a lot of things he can do offensively and defensively. He's starting to learn other positions that creates a lot more value for him in his career. And then the last guy offensively that that uh, I think we mentioned yesterday or day before yesterday, Isaac Ballou just keeps coming around, and he is a guy that is. The guy that has come up with a bunch of big hits, not necessarily home runs and, and triples or even doubles, but he's a guy that he'll get a base hit for you and drive in a couple of runs. Yeah, he continues to get big hits. I mean, no matter where you put him in the lineup, uh, he has a quality at bat. And, and that's, you know, he's he's put himself on the map in our organization. The guy who can, a uh, veteran guy who, who has good at bats, he, he knows how to play the game. And, and that's something that, uh, doesn't go unnoticed with us, and, and he's proven a lot of people um, uh, wrong in our organization, which is good. And uh, he keeps going out doing things the right way. He's giving himself a chance. 